Hey Pro Church Media community, this is Jason again. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can create your own custom stickers for use in Instagram on your Instagram story posts. So we're going to be doing a little bit of animation inside of Photoshop. I think it's going to be a ton of fun and you're going to learn a lot. So let's get uh, right to this. All right, so we're going to start by creating a new document, Command N on your keyboard. And I'm going to be using a size of 1080 by 1920, so the regular Instagram story size. Even though the uh, resulting sticker is going to be much smaller, I just want to use this size as a reference. So uh, you can just type in those values and then hit create. All right, so now we want to open up the video timeline. If you don't already see this panel, just go up to Window and then scroll down to Timeline and choose that. Okay, and we want to start by creating a video timeline, so just click this button. And for the frame rate, I think we should change this to about 12 frames per second. So just go over to the hamburger menu, click on that, and then scroll down to set timeline frame rate. And then I'm just going to choose 12 right here. Hit OK. And uh, we can use this little slider to zoom in, and I think by default it sets it to 5 seconds, which I think will be fine. Okay, so now we need to create... Um, kind of a base image that we're going to base all of the other images off of. And so I'm just going to create a new layer, grab my brush tool and you know pick, I think I'm just going to use a regular rounded brush with a hard edge, maybe about nine pixels in size or so, and just use a black fill. And then might just zoom in here and I'm just going to do a really quick cross animation. So I'm just going to draw this and this is just going to be a reference. And so, um, you can kind of make this whatever you want and you can base all the other animations off of this. All right, so there's nothing terribly fancy about this, but I think it'll work for our purposes. And I might just add a few little details in here. Well, I guess we can do that later. So let's just uh, leave this right here. So now I'm just going to retitle this reference and then drop the opacity down to about oh, maybe like 35% or so, just so I can kind of see it. it's going to kind of be used mostly as an onion skin just so I can kind of have a reference that I'm going to base the rest of my animations off of. Okay so now let's go up to layer and then go to video layers and choose new blank video layer and with this one we're now going to be able to draw something on each uh, subsequent frame so I might just zoom in here and now I'm just going to start tracing this and I don't want to necessarily be perfect with this um, because the lack of perfection is what's going to basically drive the animation here and give it kind of that sloppy animation look and so uh, that's kind of what I'm going for so I'm not going to be too careful I don't want to go too far outside of these lines but um, I just want to you know get kind of a nice look going on now you can use the right arrow to go forward to the next frame and then just repeat this process over and over. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do a unique frame for every single frame of this animation. I think I might just do about 10 or so and then just duplicate this uh, to complete the looping GIF. All right, so I have my second frame. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of these frames up to about 10 frames and I'll do the speed up thing so you don't have to uh, watch me do all this. All right, so that is, I think, 10 frames right there. So I'm just going to trim this back and um, I can actually take off my reference right now. So um, I might just play this back just to see what it looks like. And you can see we have that nice uh, sloppy kind of animation going on there. I could clean some stuff up, but I actually think I kind of like it. So I'm just gonna leave it right there. I could, of course, add a little more detail to this. So I think I might actually do that. So I'm just gonna go back to the first frame and now I'm just gonna draw some other uh, details in here so maybe just some little uh, you know lines here just to kind of you know give it a little something interesting to look at uh, besides just the regular cross and so I'm just gonna you know quickly add in some of these different lines and you know they can be different sizes and different placement but uh, I could make a reference for these but I think I'm just gonna kind of eye it and you know hope for the best and <laughs> you know sometimes you can get some interesting uh, things going with that so I'm just going to finish this up and then we'll move on. Okay, so that's all the uh, little lines and I think that'll work pretty well. So uh, now that I have my animation finished, I'm just going to duplicate this layer a few times. And so you might think just to do like Command uh, C and then Command V to paste it, but this will actually kind of shift the position of your duplicated layer for some reason. So what you can do to uh, pull this off more easily is just go to the layer over here in your Layers panel right click and say duplicate layer and then just say okay and now it'll put it right 
in front where it should be and you can just move it down the timeline you can see now it's like a seamless loop and so now we can keep doing this so i'll just do duplicate layer again and now this time it will actually put it next to it on the timeline which is nice so i'm just going to duplicate it a few more times just to get to that five second mark you can make it however long you want but i'm just gonna go for five seconds there we go okay so now we can play this back and you can see we have this uh, seamlessly looping uh, animated cross going on it's not the greatest animation in the world you can make it as complex or as simple as you want but you know this is kind of the basics of animating in Photoshop so it's pretty easy and kind of fun okay so uh, I might just grab a photo just to kind of see what this looks like on top of a photo so I'm just gonna grab a photo from my desktop just kind of drop it in here scale it up a ways move it over and I think I just need to move it down here and so now we have uh, the video group. I guess I need to put it behind the video group. Okay, so I think I like the look of this, but the cross I think is probably gonna be too dark. And I'm thinking probably the image that I'm gonna use is probably going to be you know, something darker. So I probably wanna just make this white or something like that. So what I can do is just go to the video group and then uh, double click on it and I can pull up the color overlay and I can just change it to white or to whatever color I wanted. I could do red, I could do yellow, whatever I want. Um, I think I'll just leave it on white for right now. Hit OK, hit OK, and we're pretty much uh, good to go with this. So now it's time to actually export this in sticker format, which is basically just a, a GIF with a transparent background. So we need to get rid of the photo, which we're just using for reference, get rid of the background, and so you can see this uh, transparency grid shows you that this is indeed transparent. I might just scoot all of this over just a little bit and I think that'll be pretty good. Okay, now before I export it, I just wanna crop this in pretty close. I'm just gonna pull up the crop tool with C and then just pull down the, uh, the sides and the top and the bottom just to bring it in. I don't wanna go you know, right up next to it. I want a little bit of padding just so I don't cut off anything during the animation, but something like that should be pretty good. Then just hit enter to commit that change. Okay, and you can just play it back to look at it for reference. It looks good, nothing's getting cropped out, so I think we're good to go with this. Okay, so now um, go up to File and then choose uh, Export and then choose Save for Le Web Legacy. And it's gonna pull up this dialog window and you wanna make sure that the, the GIF option is selected and you can play around with different uh, options here if it's just a single color or something like this, it's not gonna really matter too much, but you can use these controls if you have something that's you know, getting too big or something like that. You also want to make sure that this looping options is set to forever. And once you have all that set, um, you can play it to preview it if you want to. You can then go to save and then choose a place where you wanna save it. I'm just gonna save it to the desktop and call it animated. I'll just call it cross sticker and then make sure it's set to images only, hit save. And now your uh, sticker is saved and ready to upload. Okay, so now we have our GIF exported. Let's go ahead and upload it to Giphy. So just go to giphy.com, G-I-P-H-Y.com, and uh, go ahead and create an account if you don't already have one, and then just choose upload. Once you're at this screen, you can just go to browse your files and I'm just gonna choose that cross sticker that I created, hit open. And now you can see it gives you a preview of what you're about to upload. You can enter a source URL, which is kind of like credit for it. So I'm just gonna put prochurchmedia.com. And then you can add tags. This is actually a really important part of it. And you wanna add as many tags as you can because it's gonna help uh, Instagram find it later. So I might just do uh, cross uh, Christian church um, salvation pro church media, pro church media, all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, you can add more tags and things like that. It will add them. And then uh, you can choose if it's public or not. You're definitely gonna want it to be public. And then just choose Upload to Giphy and it will start uploading it and it'll give you a confirmation when it's done.
It's really super important to note that once you upload it to Giphy, that doesn't mean it's instantly available to Instagram. On average, uh, it seems to be taking like two to three weeks actually for Instagram to you know be able to populate those types of things. And so this isn't something that's kind of a last minute thing that you can just kind of do through Giphy at least. And so uh, it's a, it is it can be a great way to plan ahead, like to create some animated GIFs for future events and then, you know, upload them a couple weeks early. And then once you're ready for that, you'll have those stickers available. And so uh, that's basically it. So you can see it's pretty easy to kind of create your own custom animated GIFs, your own stickers, and you can use them on Instagram and anywhere else that you can use stickers. And so um, hope this tutorial has been helpful. Uh, have some fun in Photoshop, create some animated stickers, and I'll talk to you later. If you like this tutorial, be sure to visit ProChurchMediaUniversity.com, where you can find full courses, workshops, training, and more. ProChurchMediaUniversity.com.